Hey everyone, Trace Dominguez here, and welcome to another episode of Teardown on Signal by Sony. This may be our tiniest teardown yet, so watch closely. Today we have Sony's Smartwatch 3 SWR50 in stainless steel. All right, let's start. We begin by powering down the watch. As you can see, the watch is integrated directly into the band. All it needs is a little push and it'll slowly eject out the back. It's made that way so you can easily switch out different colored bands. These are the recess points that allow the watch module to sit inside the band. This spot here is for the LED light for notifications. On the watch itself, there are two recesses that sync with the alignment posts on the outside of the band to guide the watch into position. This center button or actuator is able to move smoothly between the outside and the inside. On the back of the watch module, we have a small USB port. The door is made of rubber, which helps the watch stay water and dust resistant. Now let's really get into it. Ready? Let's go. We'll start by removing the LCD screen from the watch module. Between the metal backing and the screen is a plastic bracket that holds the two pieces together. Between the LCD screen and the plastic bracket is adhesive, which we gently remove by prying it up on all four sides. The adhesive is really strong to keep any dust from getting underneath the screen. And this is what's under the hood. It looks simple, right? Here you have FFC connectors, or small press fit connectors that attach from the LCD to the main circuit board. This square is the NFC antenna that also plugs into the main board. The NFC allows quick and easy connectivity between the watch and other devices, like your mobile phone, wireless speakers, or a bunch of other things. By tapping the NFC symbols on both of those devices together, they should connect. This is the LCD panel itself, with a 1.6-inch screen and 320 by 320 resolution. Since the watch is touchscreen, the cover glass and LCD are integrated into one. By prying the press fit cables, we remove the LCD screen completely off the watch module. There are two connections on the back of the LCD. One goes directly to the LCD and the other to the touch screen. Next, we'll remove the NFC antenna, which is this gold coil piece here, by popping out the same connector the LCD screen has. The NFC connector has adhesive below it, so gently pull it back and it should come right off. Now we get to dig into the main pieces of the watch. This tiny square is called the main SOC or system on a chip. This piece is the brains of the watch and handles almost all of its functions. This is the power management integrated circuit. It controls the power distribution within the watch. Over here, we have the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. Under this sticker is the antennas for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which receives signals coming from the outside to the antenna. Then it processes the RF signal. And from there, data is transferred to the system on a chip. So cool. To get to the circuit board, we remove four tiny screws and pry through the adhesive. Underneath, we have antennas wrapped in plastic and touching the circuit board connecting to the Bluetooth Wi-Fi module. There is an LED guide so that the light doesn't leak all the way around inside the watch. We disconnect the antennas in plastic. Inside, you can see they are integrated into the plastic, which is how it connects to the circuit board itself. This here is the actuator that causes the vibration when you get incoming text messages or phone calls. Now we'll remove the circuit board by disconnecting the USB and its cables. We also remove the vibrator motor, which is held by a press fit cable. Underneath the circuit board is the battery, which covers the whole inside of the metal board. Lastly, we remove that battery, which is attached by adhesive. And there you have it, a few pieces with many functions. A really incredible job by the Sony engineers and designers. We hope you enjoyed this tiny teardown. I'm Trace Dominguez, and I'll see you next time.